What's up, e-bikers? New e-bike in the shop. This is the uh, Derwin Pioneer All-Terrain 26x4 Fat Tire e-bike. We'll check it out next on the channel. So this is my first 26 inch uh, by four inch uh, fat tire e-bike. Uh, it's definitely a tank, um, much different a ride than my other e-bikes, which are 20 inch and uh, 27 inch tires. And uh, this is just a big beefy bike. It's meant for, I think, big guys, uh, tall people. I think it's rated for about, uh, in terms of rider height, 5'3 to 6'4. And that's got a payload of uh, 350 pounds. So it's definitely, uh, uh, on the heavier side of things. Uh, the bike weighs about 74 pounds. The battery itself is actually about 10 pounds. It's a pretty big battery. I'll show you later. But uh, just go over the specs for you real quick. Uh, 750 watt, 80 newton meters of torque, so it's pretty powerful. It's good at hill climbing, good at running through uh, dirt roads, things like that. Estimated range, 35 to 55 miles. Uh, it's got a 15 amp hour uh, battery. That's good for uh, 720 watt hours of uh, of range. Uh, comes in white, black, and gray. This is the gray model. Uh, Derwin also sells a step through um, called a Seeker. They're actually, their, their models are kind of the same, so I'm not sure what the differences are between the two, the two models that they have, the Seeker and the Pioneer. But this is the Pioneer, and uh, it's a pretty good looking bike. Great fit and finish. And uh, this kind of compares with the Hemiway Cruisers of the world, the, the Rad Rovers of the world. Um, and I think it has uh, more premium parts than those bikes. Um, I think the one thing that the Hemiway outshines this bike is in the battery size. The Hemiway has a 17.5 amp hour battery. This has a 15. And the Rad Rover has a 14, I believe. Um, but uh, this has hydraulic brakes. Um, it's got uh, a massive front headlight with 1100 lumens, which I'll show you as well. Uh, integrated braking lights. Nice beefy rear rack um, and uh, just a nice fit and finish overall to the actual bike. The little swept back handlebars here, very nice. Full leather stitch grips. Uh, comes with a bell, so that's a good thing. And it's got a really nice 3.5 inch color display on there, uh, which is the nicest display I've seen so far on the e bikes that I've owned anyway. Uh, put it together myself, game uh, last Friday. Just threw on the, uh, the front tire. Uh, adjust the handlebars, put the pedals on, uh, the fender and the light, and that's it. So that's kind of your standard uh, installation with these e-bikes is, is the, uh, the front tire, the handlebars, fenders, lights, and pedals basically. So uh, now it's kind of old habit now. It's, I don't even need the instructions anymore at this point. All right, so what else can I say about this bike? So I think it's, it's great for sand. Uh, going over gravel, dirt trails. I'm gonna use this on like dirt road pass on some of the uh, the water company uh, properties that I visit here in Connecticut. That's gonna be my main use for this bike. Um, it is a it is a big bike, so it doesn't turn as easily as other e-bikes out there. Um, so it is a, it's on the heavier side. It's a little more bulky in other words. So it's not gonna give you that kind of uh, uh, agility that the electric XP will, for example. All right, what else? So uh, hydraulic brakes, as I mentioned, it's got 180 millimeter rotors on the front and back, and the uh, front fork is hydraulic as well. It does have a lockout and a preload in there as well. The tires are, uh, 
I think they're there's no name on the tire so they look kind of kendas to me um got a nice reflective strip on the uh the sides i do like that on on those tires so they look pretty nice no lettering there it's a very subtle in terms of branding very subtle branding on this bike i don't know if you can see it on the uh the video here but it says Derwin right here and it says pioneer down here in black uh, it's a very dark gray um and uh, i like that subtle branding on these big on, on bikes like this uh, I think the one aspect I hate about this bike is the seat. It is a rock hard seat and uh, I'm going to get a suspension seat post and uh, throw it on there as well and give me a seat. I'm going to put my Cloud 9 in here I think, but um, this, this thing is rock hard. Um, it's got a 7 speed Shimano shifter with an Altus derailleur down there and um, yeah it's basically about it. So you know, big beefy bike. It does fit me pretty well as far as uh, leg extension and things like that. I think the minimum seat height is about 30 inches and the standover height is 29.5. Uh, it does have a key to unlock the battery. I'll show you that in a second. And um, that is the bike. So today we'll do kind of a, uh, we'll do a hill climb test and we'll do some speed tests, show you the PAS levels and show you how the uh, display looks as well on the road. So stay tuned for that coming up. Okay, so here's the battery. Again, it weighs 10 pounds and it's probably, gosh, must be two feet long almost. It's the longest battery I've ever seen on an e-bike. Uh, you can see the locking mechanism up here. Right now it's locked. I'm gonna unlock it, it just popped out. And it's got a handle on here. Um, and you kind of, uh, you bring the battery out at an angle and pick it up. And that's what the inside of the, uh, the bike looks like there. For the, uh, it's a very cavernous, um, channel here for the uh, the battery. Here's a quick look at the cockpit of the bike. Again, you got your Shimano shifter here. You got the uh, Logan uh, hydraulic brakes. They have mineral oil in these as well, so um, definitely a step up. So here's the display. So uh, let me zoom in here. You can see the uh, battery level. You got your trip, odometer, wattage. Uh, everything's on this page basically. So when I switch the uh, eco modes well now it's off look at the colors here so now it's white you go to eco it's green you go to ps2 it's uh, it's kind of a, a yellowish and you got three that's more of an orange four that's a, a deeper orange and then uh, five is more of a red on there so that's a nice touch i've never seen that before uh, on the uh, display like this even when you're riding this circle here will also change color as well um, and that's how you know what PS mode you're in Just a little hill climb test here. It's kind of an average hill. I'll just do uh, throttle only and uh, see what we get. Twelve, thirteen. It's doing pretty well. Almost hit thirteen point eight. Thirteen point five. It's coming towards the top of the hill here. And that was pretty easy. Ooh. Let's try this field over here too. It's got a little steep incline. All right, and then PS4 and actually put it in five. Let's do throttle only up this hill. It's a pretty steep incline. Let's see if the Derwin can make it. And she did. Right uphill, um, and uh, let's put the Derwin in fifth PAS and hit the throttle and see how it does. Eleven gaining gaining power, twelve, ten, eleven, ten. 
up on speed. We have a side area here. We've got a lot more hill to go. 12.7. Seems to be a top speed so far. Oh, 13. Okay, we're leveling out just a tad. 14, gaining speed. The real test is coming up here where those uh, garbage cans are. still. Okay, now we're slowing down. 13, 12, 11, 10. It's still going though. 9, 8, 8, 7.8. It's going to make it, guys. Pretty impressive. 8. And we're at the top of the hill. All right, not bad. Uh, if you want to climb hills, you got to get bikes that are 750 watts. This has 80 newton meters of torque. Uh, you can kind of see down there how steep this hill is. Um, it's a it's a pretty steep hill. Um, this is one of the tallest places in my town, so I'm uh, pretty impressed with the uh, performance here of the dirt rates on this steep hill here. The back kind of slides out a bit when you do uh, come down that fast on this bike, but and then they stop pretty well. We're 29 right now, 30, 31. Show you the uh, PS levels and what speeds they go to. So we'll start it out in uh, PS1, and uh, so we'll look at around, around 10 miles an hour, maybe nine. So very casual pace. This is eco mode, of course. Um, so around nine miles now, bringing it up to two, and that should get us to around uh, 13. Looks like, yeah, almost there. 12 and a half, 13. PS3, which is normal mode, we'll get to uh, 15, 16. So between 15 and 16. PS4 is, looks like 19. I'm going to go through the stop sign here. No one's coming. Let's go to PS5. That's power mode. 20, 21, 22, 23, 23. So, so if you notice when I'm changing PAS levels, look at the screen. It changes colors. That's a nice touch. I like that. Normal is kind of yellowish. Low is green. And uh, eco is even uh, darker green. And white is off. That's nice. Very nice display. Uh, you can read it very easily. And there's, you know, it's minimal data on there, but um, it's all you need to know to, uh, you know, manage your bike and your output. All right, here's a look at the uh, front headlight on the Derwin Pioneer. Again, 1100 lumens is the uh, size of this thing. So well, let's see how uh, bright this thing is. Oh, wow. I mean, look at that up ahead there. It's uh, it's basically got two bulbs in there. Yeah, it goes pretty far. I'd say it goes, oh, at least uh, 30, 30, 40 feet up there. Let's do a quick ride. See it in action. the headlight in action very bright
Uh, let's go into the woods here and uh, put this bike to you. It's rightful place. See, this is what this bike is meant for. Trails like this that uh, have had sticks, roots, rocks. And this thing just rolls right over them. here. I'm not sure where this goes, let's see. Right over that tree. Can go up hill here. Oh yeah. Oh man, this thing is powerful. Down there to the end. There go. Downhill here. There you go. This is this bike is built for trails like this. Right on that stick. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, review of the Derwin Pioneer. Again, a premium e bike, $22.99 on the Derwin website. Compares to the uh, Hemingway Cruiser or the Rad Rover. You know, a little bit better parts on this one than those bikes. Uh, you got the hydraulic brakes, you got that big lumen uh, headlight up there, 1100 lumens. That's like a car light, and I'll show you a video of that as well. Um, integrated tail light on the back. Uh, just nice parts overall, except for the seat. And uh, pretty impressed with this with this e-bike here. So it's my first 26x4, and I'm definitely keeping this one. They did send it to me for review uh, for free, so just keep that in mind. But you know what? Any bike you get that's $2,000 or more is going to be a great e-bike. I mean, come on. Let's face it, folks. It's, uh, it's not that hard to figure out. And uh, it came with no problems. There's no scratches on it whatsoever. Out of the box. Real easy to put together. And uh, just love the look of this Derwin Pioneer. And it's definitely uh, the newest e-bike in my stable. So uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like button. And see you next time on Criss Crossed.